morning, class. Today we're going to be morning. learning about pronoun antecedent agreement. Yay! Yay! Yay. Woo! Okay, so first <laughs> is agreement with personal pronouns. Pronouns and their antecedents must agree in number, just as subjects and verbs must agree in number. So if we have, unlike verbs, pronouns often show gender just as well as number. In other words, pronouns are masculine, feminine, or neuter. Pronouns and their antecedents must agree in gender as well as number. So Corey is wearing a green shirt and he does not have it tucked in. So he is referring to Corey and it is neuter and is referring to his green shirt. Next is compound antecedents. Com if the antecedent is compound, you look at the conjunction joining the parts of the antecedents. If the nouns are joined by and or both and, the pronoun must be plural. If the nouns are joined by or, nor, either or, or neither nor, the pronoun must, must agree with whichever noun is closer to it. So Zoe and her BFF Ben have lots of fun together. Alex and him were wearing matching shirts. Now we have a neither nor. So we're going to look at the noun, the pronoun that is closest to it. Neither Zoe nor Alex has a gerbil. So for has, we look at Alex. Then we are going to look at infinitives. Yay. And I mean indefinite. Sorry, it's an infinitive Spanish. The, not, the antecedent of a personal pronoun is usually a noun. Sometimes, though, the antecedent is an indefinite pronoun. The person pronoun always has the same number. So, several students believe they have the best handwriting. Several and they. So several students believe they have the best handwriting. Zoe is funny, I mean is pretty, and she likes to laugh. So that is another personal pronoun. We thank you.